In this video, I'll explain how to use the Fujifilm Instax Wide 300 with external flash. Hi, I'm Matei. Welcome to my channel. Let's talk flash photography with the Instax Wide 300. The most common problem with using the internal flash on the Instax Wide 300 is that the subject is usually well lit, but the background is completely dark. To understand this problem, let me explain how the flash works in the Instax Wide 300. When we take a picture of a subject, the flash fires, the light bounces off my face back into the flash sensor and once the flash sensor sees enough light, the, the flash stops firing. The problem is that there's so much light bouncing off my face that none of the light gets to the background, therefore the background is completely dark. The best way to fix this problem is to add external flash to light the background. What I use is this Godox TT600 in optical slave mode. So what happens is the Instax Y300 fires the internal flash, it travels, bounces off the subject, then the sensor in the uh, external flash picks it up and fires as well and lights the background. The way I set it up generally is I use the camera to uh, take a picture of the subject and put the external flash on the other side, um, just out of the frame, um, point it to the ceiling, and then it uh, fires off um, and illuminates the background. To make this work, you have to set the external flash at optical slave mode, S1. That's because the Instax Y300 does not use uh, pre-flash mode like most modern digital cameras. But I found that in typical indoor room, uh, setting the external flash at one half power gives me the best results. If the internal flash is still too hot, you can cover the internal flash with a white gaffer tape to soften the light a little bit, or set it to the dark mode to uh, cut the power of, from the internal flash a little bit. Let's say you want complete manual control over the external flash. It's easy, you just take the external flash in optical slave mode, put the sensor from the external flash over the internal flash of the camera, and then fire away. To take the external flash off camera, let's say to put in a softbox and an umbrella, you can direct the light from the internal flash to the sensor of the external flash by using a piece of aluminum foil and just directing it to the flash just like that. The problem with this method is that sometimes you might get light spillage from uh, underneath this aluminum foil and it can show up in pictures. But what if you're a pro you don't have time to mess around with aluminum foil? How about wireless radio control? Well, we can do that with this little helper. It's the Viltrox FC8N adapter. It has an optical slave sensor and hot shoe on the top. So once we attach this adapter to the internal flash of the Instax uh, 300, it essentially converts the internal flash to a hot shoe. Once we have a hot shoe, we can connect any radio flash trigger to it, just like this. And uh, then we connect it to the camera, like that, and we have full radio control. Here's a picture of my daughter where the flash is inside an umbrella behind the subject. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below.